everything goes off as soon as it's not used. We switch the light off, we switch the water off. So why the engine of a car should go on while the car is stopped in a traffic jam or on a red light? I'm Ulrike Sinner. I'm Fregne Rochette. My name is Daniel Richard and I was head of the uh, research and development department when we started 20 years ago in this uh, adventure. At that time, electrification was just at the beginning, with the launch of the Prius from Toyota in 1997. However, this solution was still expensive. That's why Valeo decided, given its leadership on starters and alternators, to find a new solution able to become accessible for everyone. And this is how the Stop Start is born. At the time, you've got to understand that the impact on the environment of the CO2 emission was not at all the question. People users were not questioning that. They were questioning the cost of usage of the car, especially through fuel consumption. Of course, you can turn it off manually, but you would not do that because then you won't have the light or the radio or all the safety features or the comfort features. So we thought we must do that automatically while keeping all of them. Basically, cars have a generator and a starter. The starter starts the engine and the generator generates electricity. When the engine is turning, the generator transforms the movement of the combustion engine into electricity. And this electricity is there for all the comfort and safety features which I've mentioned. Our idea was to make a machine which is alternator and starter in the same time and which could recrank the engine as soon as required and which allows throughout a stronger battery to make work all these function and safety electric systems which I've mentioned before. That was the idea. And from this idea, yes, we said we go to some kind of system which will be stopped start. It marks the beginning of the hybridization within Valeo with a clear intention to make hybridization accessible for everyone. It was an outsider perspective for Valeo, challenging the way things were done at that time. Our first customer to introduce this on his car was the Citroën with a C3 stop start. And the second one was a Smart with a Mide Hybrid Drive. Both cars uh, were said to have 5% fuel saving in the official test cycle. But we said, hey, these cars, they are made for 100% city drive. So what would be the fuel saving in an ordinary city which is quite congested? So we took two identical cars. But one car had stop start off and in one it was activated. At the end of this three hours test drive in Paris, we went to the fuel station just to compare what is the difference in terms of refuel. And we could make an official announcement on this because we had a bailiff on board who could state you that our system stop start in the city has real life saving of 35%. There were a few people, maybe 10 people, they were the heart of the, of the development. Not only because they had the knowledge, they had the passion. When I was arriving in the morning, I had the, the security officer. Look, I had other problems with our teams on this night. You cannot imagine what happened. Your people climbing up the fences and, and trying to get into, into the, the premises and, and to work. It's really fun and great, great, great memories we have. We had the knowledge or the expertise in terms of electrical systems. So to make a starter who is transforming electricity into movement to crank the engine, or to make a generator who is transforming the movement of the engine into the electricity. So now we said we combine them both. But if you combine them both, then you need a very sophisticated electronic on the rear of the machine. To make compact, sophisticated electronic, you might say it's easy, you have it on your smartphone, you have it in your computer, you have it everywhere. Yes, of course, but this is more challenging on an alternator which is under the hood of the engine, which is turning at 6,000 RPM, which is 120 degrees, uh, which has shocks, uh, lots of dusts, gasoline vapors and everything. So, so that was the challenge to make it, but not only to integrate it in this environment, but also to respect reliability and cybersecurity. 
The stop start is the first big move of Valeo into electrification. It took some time to catch on, but now the stop start function is used by everyone, is known by everyone in every car all over the world. This has become a new standard, a state-of-the-art function in every car for everybody. And 20 years later, Valeo is more than ever engaged in the electrification of mobility. That was the story. I'm retired now, but uh, this is surely the best part of my uh, career. If I had to resume start stop in one word, I would say it's just obvious. It's common sense. The stop start on virtue in one word, pioneer. This story in one word, really, I would say human experience, great teams.